Oh my god. Well, I've just had the shittiest moment in my whole boating career. So, um, let me show you. <laughs> this is my Fetford C2 cassette, right? So what happened was the cassette filled up, but the indicator here didn't change to red. It just stayed green. So I, and I have been keeping tabs on how long the cassette lasts me, but for some reason I didn't. And I, I saw it filling up and I'm like, oh yeah, well, it's probably okay. It's probably okay. And then after I did a dump today, um, it basically overflowed and chocked up the cassette to the point that it wouldn't flush properly. So it basically the bowl filled up with water. Um, I've got like chemicals in there at the moment, like chemicals in, with the water and stuff. It was just, it filled up the bowl. And I tried, I got one of these meat skewers to try and like, you know, um, just thin everything out in the cassette, but it just wasn't having anything. The only solution I had left over was to actually remove the cassette and shit <laughs> what i did shit went everywhere i got all over the floor it was all over the cassette i got a splash onto me bits of shit everywhere oh <laughs> jesus so i've cleaned it all up now it's it's okay I, i've got i've got to go have a shower though you know oh, it's just got covered in it absolutely covered in it it just splattered all over you know, this is <laughs> this is what the joys. Of, this is the joys of boating, right? Honestly, it's the shittiest moment I've had in the, my whole boating career so far. You know, and I just figure, well, if I can get through this, I can get through bloody anything. Um, yeah, I've just I got covered in it, literally. It just splattered everywhere. Just poured all over all the all the dirty water, just all over the floor. Oh. <laughs> but I got through it. I had to. Because you've got, you know, you're on a boat, you, you've got to be, um, you've got to look after yourself. You've got to manage situations like this, you know, uh, it's just, there's no other, no other option. This is why I don't have a pump out though. So a pump out toilet is where you actually pump it into a holding tank and then you have to go to a marina or somewhere to pump out your excrement that way. The problem with that is if you get a blockage or your tank fills up, the smells can come back up and, you know, and then you have a myriad of problems with pump out loose. That's why I never have a pump out. I'll never have a pump out ever, but this is the first time I've ever experienced anything like this. So, um, I should have known because I looked at my calendar and it's like, it's been two to three weeks since I've, um, since I've used it, you know, installed the new cassette. So anyway, we got through it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is what you've got to put up with as a boater, you know. Um, it's not all, like I always say, it's not all gin and tonics on a summer's day, although we've had plenty of gin and plenty of summer so far. So, um, but this is what can happen, you know. Um, things like this, situations like this, you've got to deal with it the best you can.